Okay, I am back for a quick little movie review. Um, I have been busy working on a new feature film. I signed an NDA, so I can't talk about the movie. Uh, but I have been swamped. I'm not even uh, living in my town. I have to go to another town and stay there uh, while we're filming. So to make a long story short, I was able to come home, and uh, my wife and I watched a movie called Finding You, which came out in 2020. Uh, it was a pretty good little movie. Uh, it's about a violinist named Finley Sinclair, and she travels to an Irish coastal village to begin her semester studying abroad. Uh, at this bed and breakfast she, uh, that's run by a host family that she's staying with, she encounters a guy named Beckett Rush. He's a handsome actor filming uh, uh, another installment of a medieval movie franchise in Ireland. Uh, there's a romance and blah, 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 blah. First of all, um, my wife picked the movie and I was like, eh, I'll watch this. It's okay. And then it turned out to be pretty good. So, uh, Jedediah Goodacre, uh, plays Beckett Rush, um, who is the actor. It's all, he's almost like a kit, uh, uh, the, the guy from Game of Thrones, um, uh, Kit Harrington, Carrington, Harrington, is that his name? Uh, he looks like him. He's got this longish kind of red hair, um, and he's slaying dragons and all this stuff. And what happens is, uh, he runs into, um, uh, Finley Sinclair, who's played by Rose Reed. She did a fantastic job in the movie and, uh, she's staying at this bed and breakfast and he's staying at this bed and breakfast. One of the reasons why I like this movie is because as an actor, everything that they did made complete sense. You know, they, they take a, a talent and they put it at a bed and put them at a bread and breakfast. And then while he's going around town, everyone's trying to see him and he's like the next big thing and blah, 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 blah. Um, and so, uh, the movie goes on. I don't want to spoil too much. Um, but, uh, Patrick Bergen is in it. He plays a character named Seamus. And I kept looking at him throughout the whole movie because he's got, complete white hair and complete white mustache and beard. And I was like, I know this guy. I know this guy. About three quarters of the way through the filming, I was like, that's the psycho killer from Sleeping with the Enemy. And he was also in Patriot Games and about a hundred other films. But I didn't recognize him until it just, it took, it just had to sink in. I kept going, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Uh, and he played uh, a town, the town fiddler um, uh, who kind of, brings uh, 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 this Finley character under his wing and he teaches her how to loosen up and not be such a tight viol violinist and she learns how to do Irish fiddle and that kind of thing. There was a great like sea storyline uh, in the movie with Vanessa Redgrave who is at a um, retirement facility and what they do is when these students come from abroad they assign them to uh, uh, to someone to take care of or to visit and play music for or entertain um, that's at a retirement home that has no friends or relatives don't visit and, and they get extra credit for their studies abroad if they do this. And so, um, uh, the banter back and forth between, uh, uh, Finley and then Kathleen, which is my sister's name spelled with a C, just like in this movie, uh, that Renessa Red, Red gave, Redgrave plays. And it's such a beautiful, sweet storyline and I won't give it away. Uh, because it's it's really integral to the part of the uh, the movie as the the ending creeps up. Uh, I will say from time to time, Jedediah, um, I felt uh, did a little overacting, uh, uh, but I mean that's okay. It's a romantic comedy. Some of his stuff was over the top, um, and then uh, let's see, there was another uh, another good Tom Everett Scott was in this. Uh, and you know him playing shades on that thing you do. And I just finished working with Tom uh, on a series called The Summer I Turn Pretty, which will come out next year. It's uh, on Amazon. It's based on a book series. Uh, so he was in the movie as well, which was cool. Uh, he's a super nice guy. I remember when we were doing The Summer I Turn Pretty, we were on, we were at the sound stages and we were filming on a set. And he was in his trailer and I didn't recognize him. I just didn't recognize him. And he started walking over and there was a, someone uh, in health and safety had a pop-up 10-foot tent and they needed to move it. And all of a sudden he comes out of nowhere and he starts grabbing one of the legs of the tent. I'm standing there like a dumbass with uh, another one of my uh, 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 
co-workers, and I thought he was part of locations. I thought he was like the locations department. So they're moving this tent, and it's like, it's literally, it's the actor in the in the TV series. And then he walks by me, like it was no big deal, and I was like, oh, wow, well, this that's really something. Um, uh, and I felt like a total idiot, because I should have jumped on that tent and helped move that tent. But, um, you know, I was busy with Doc uh, having a conversation. By the way, uh, Connie, if you're watching this video, uh, I just wanted you to know that I will be back to be, and I'll put out more content to entertain you. Um, uh, I know how much you like the channel, according to Doc, because he tells me all the time. So, that being said, Finding You, uh, it's on Amazon Prime right now. If you've got Amazon, you know, and you upgraded to get the free uh, shipping, you could probably find Finding You on there. That's where we watched it. Uh, it came out May 14th, 2021. Um, and let's see, is it, uh, it's Redbox release date was August 10th. It's already been on Netflix too. So it's been around a little while. Uh, and, um, it was a really fun, uh, movie. And I think, uh, if you work in the film industry, you'll enjoy the behind the scenes of it. Uh, if you like a good, uh, romance, uh, type film set abroad in another country as beautiful as Ireland. Some of the shots were just gorgeous where they filmed this. I mean, you could just, you could pause the screen and then print it and put it on the wall and it'd be a great painting. So uh, hats off to the cast and crew uh, of this one. Uh, uh, an honorable mention here, Catherine McNamara was also in the film uh, and you kind of don't like her. So I hope she does other roles where she's got more likability. Um, but you also kind of don't like Tom Everett Scott either. And I love him in everything he's in. And I liked him in this. I mean, his acting was great. He just was kind of a, a little bit of a stage dad, uh, if you will, to the sun. Check out Finding You, and I'll be back pumping out content after December 17th, when I uh, uh, we break for Christmas on this movie that I'm working on, uh, I'll have plenty of time to start cranking out content, and I got a lot of catching up to do, but I have seen all of the Hawkeyes. I have, uh, I'm almost finished watching Shang-Chi. I hate to stop a movie midway or like towards the end, but I did. Uh, and um, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to watch Army of the Dead uh, the Zack Snyder film. I got to play catch up, but when you work like I do, you work like I do. And that's, there's nothing you can do about it. You work in the film industry, you work 70, 80 hours a week or whatever, uh, uh, to get the job done. So we will see you guys on the next one.